Hi guys, in today's video we'll create a custom navigation bar as you see when you scroll to the top the title on the icon gets smaller and smaller it will be fully customized, you can change the color, opacity, title, anything I hope you like it and have a nice day I have already created the nav header as you see in a finishing and we have in a title an icon when we scrolling to the top, the icon, the title, everything gets smaller and smaller. And we have this opacity. Simply, I have I need a scroll offset, how much we scrolling, and the title and the icon. And here the UI is very simple. And we have these functions to create the animation. The first function is for the height. As you see now is an opacity if I just do it one. So you can see it easily. This is the height is now is 100. As you see, we can do it like 10. You see it's so small, do it 100. I want to start with 100 and then we'll end in 85 and this is the the speed how fast you want to do this if we do it 135 it's not moving so we do it like 5 it will be very fast let's start with this function I want to start height will be 100 We need just to make this of type siege float. This is for the height. I will do one more function for the icon size. On a finishing up, when you scrolling, the icon gets smaller and smaller. I want the icon to start 35 and end on 30. The speed will be 35 like very much the same all the function and the rest also the same but we change the numbers I want to close this and create one more view for the custom nav bar because in the end I want the custom navigation be like this. You pass in the title, the icon and then the view you want. And we need to pass in 
the title icon and the content so now when we scroll to the top on the finishing app as you see I need geometry reader to know where is the position of scroll view on the top if we scroll it like 20 we know how much we scrolling to the top or to the bottom so we need to geometry reader to do this push it all to the bottom by 100 after that I will add the header view Now everywhere inside geometry there if I type geo I can't get access to the geometry numbers or the or the position but if we outside geometry we can't get access to these numbers and I need these numbers in the navigation header so to do this we need a preference key Here the preference key and the value The geometry will be global and min y. Global, that's mean will take all the height and the width of the screen. And I need one more thing to track the values changing. Like when you're scrolling 2 or 50, I want to always know how much we're scrolling and update the offset at the same time. Just like on change. Change my view to the scroll offset background and I will add it above the content so it will be first on the scroll view.
and should be the frame height jet zero. So now let's go to the content view and use custom navigation view. We'll just delete all this. We'll add the title and then icon view. I will just paste anything, just a lazy V stack of right angle with a color and an icon. If we, okay, let's make it dark. First, when we, okay, we see that is a clipping. Okay, let's go back and add in save area. Make it 40. Now it's scrolling to the top. It's work fine. 